glad to be done with it. I was like, when I hit submit, I was like, please, man, I do not want to have to retake this. Because I this is free. It's free right now. So I don't want to pay for it later and be like, oh, man, I failed. I don't want to be on the guy on YouTube like, how I failed the service now exam and how I'm going to take it again. No, I got stuff to do. I got other search to get. I got other things that are on my map and on the agenda. So I don't want to stop. I want to keep the momentum going and just work to apply this stuff. Dear me. Dear me. Three to six months. Watch how I make you proud. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Tech Xavier, where I help me help you go further in tech. I gotta say, I'm feeling really good. Feeling really good. I'm actually gonna get myself some celebratory ice cream here from Cold Stone. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you my experience taking and passing. Yes, 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 pass the certified system administrator exam. I talked to you about just what I did, the stuff you've probably seen, stuff you probably didn't see, and just some tips that I think I can give you in order to be successful when you take this exam. So just want to let you know right now, like application, practical application of what you are learning is so important because ServiceNow offers a lot and they want to make sure that if you're building out the environment, you're doing it with the least amount of what they call technical debt as possible. So just Think about yourself as a practitioner. If you were implementing this for a large company and you were really trying to get the 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 uh, the system set up properly, you want to really have an understanding of all the small details so that you have a nice foundation. All right. So that said, how did I pass? The short answer is a lot of hours. <laughs> I spent a lot of time with ServiceNow. I spent a lot of time taking the activities that they provided and doing a lot of hands-on stuff with the platform. But that said, the other thing too is when I started, I just went through the coursework really quick. I didn't take any notes. I spent about 10 hours just marathoning that content. And a couple of people were like, yo, you did 10 hours? And it's a 15 hour course, but I just put everything on 2X speed. And then the other time was really focused on doing the activities in the coursework. And sometimes just breezing through the information and just touching things and just hearing it, taking it in initially, is really probably the easiest way to prime your mind to really say I'm this I'm the admin so I need to be able to deliver on all these different things I just learned so once I get a taste of everything for me it's easier to go back and then really refine some things I did that and again that was a 10 hours I have a video if you want to check it out I got a whole playlist actually so I'll link that above right now so I'll link that playlist and basically you'll see all the work I did to study I think I may have actually done about 40 or 50 hours no joke preparing for this exam and that was over two weeks first thing I would say is that once you complete the course because that's that you have to complete the course once you complete it then immediately I would set a date for the exam that's my first thing that's one thing I didn't do and time got away from me and I had to wait another week and if you're like me and you're trying to really get your career going you don't have a whole lot of time to waste and I suggest that you just keep that momentum going I did service now right off of a successful completion and passing of my ITIL certification. So that momentum carries you because you know how to prep and how to quiet that anxiety that you have about taking tests. So complete all the coursework, get your free certification voucher, it's free. And again, you gotta do this before the end of August, okay? I cannot stress that enough. So that's the first thing I would do, get all the content down. And then once you do that, what I would suggest is taking the practice test. Let's see how much you just memorize from doing the activities that are required in the coursework and just reading a little bit and listening to some of the videos that they provide. Take some practice exams. Understand what they're looking for, the wording, because once you get that, that, that foundation in terms of like how the test questions may be presented to you, because it's not really a guarantee, then you'll have an idea of what you need to really hone in on and focus on the things you get wrong. So what I did was I took multiple practice exams. I'm gonna send you a link to the one that I think would actually be helpful for you. It was 20 bucks and it really, like I took, I did that practice exam the morning of me taking the test and that just, it helped me so much. It helped me get a better understanding. It gave me way more scenarios to really think about the application of the exam and the, the things you need to do as a sysadmin. And it just made me feel a lot more confident. It challenged me, it challenged the heck out of me. And I don't advise you cramming that the day or the morning of your exam. Quick note, my exam was at nine o'clock in the morning. 
I was up at one o'clock in the morning and used every hour till about eight, then rested my eyes for half an hour and then took the exam. Don't advise that. But this practice test I'm gonna send you would definitely be helpful for you to prepare for the exam. All right, so again, first thing, you wanna make sure that you do all the coursework so you can claim your voucher. Set the date. And to be honest, if you wanna set it within that week, if you start this process on a Monday, I will set that exam for a Sunday because just why not? Or no more than two weeks, but don't just stretch it out for the sake of stretching it out. And then what else would I suggest? Oh, so when you take your practice test, the things you get wrong, what I did as well that I didn't, I don't think I caught it on film as much, but what I did was I created a Google quiz. So there's an application called Google Forms and you can use that. They have a template for quizzes and uh, you can use that to basically make a quiz and all the things you get wrong, you type those things into Google, into the quiz, and make yourself a new quiz based on the things you got wrong, and then study the heck out of that. So in four days, you should have completed the coursework, should just gone through it, claimed your voucher, taken a practice test, and then refined what you didn't know by putting that in the Google quiz form that you make up, set it to be randomized. Now what I would do is take all that information See if you can get 90 percentiles on everything you're doing. All the, the practice tests I'm going to send you, they have, I think, 10. 10, 60 to 70 question practice tests that are really good. You do all that, your memory is going to just kick in. You'll be thinking about servers now all day. You'll, you'll know what a reference table is. You'll know what a dependency view is. You're going to know all that stuff. You're going to be tight. You know what I mean? You're going to be really good. You're going to know about the service catalog. You're going to know about everything. You, you just, you're going to be just a genius when it comes to servers now. You're gonna be in the cockpit ready to like navigate and push all the buttons. But what I would really suggest that you do is I would suggest that once you go through that testing and polishing phase and all that stuff, go back into your own personal instance and now start setting some things up. Try to set up some knowledge bases. Try to set up some service catalog items. There, there are guided tours you can take in service now that'll get you where you need to go. And these things don't give you as much of a breakdown as what you got in your activities from ServiceNow. Make up your own company. Do all those things as if you're going to get ready because certs are fine, but they're not going to save you. That's my, that, that, that's what I live by. Your cert will not save you. If you're out in the water, you know what I mean, and a cert was, a life, was just a little lifesaver, that alone ain't going to save you. Think about it like that. The cert is going to keep you afloat a little bit, but there's some things you got to do to get to shore. And what you have to do to get to shore is going to be playing around in the environment. And heck, think about the company you work at. Think about another organization you've worked at. Wherever you're at, create a system for yourself. Create users, create all that stuff, and really get immersed into the process. I'm telling you, if you spend that first week doing all the academic stuff, then spend that second week applying and navigating stuff, what's going to happen is when you take the tests, what clicked for me was I could visually see certain things even if I didn't remember the steps per se, I'm like, wait, how did I do this before? Oh yeah, no, that menu wasn't there. You know, I don't remember this term. I don't remember seeing this. And that process of elimination is what helped me a lot. So I definitely want you to take this thing seriously. There's, <clears throat> I'm telling you to get through it because why not? Like I, I've failed a, an exam, the ITIL one, the first time because I played around and I wasted too much time. But you don't have to do that. You can just take, this certification within two weeks and you'll be good. You, you can take it, pass it, and then start getting yourself lined up for interviews and whatnot. So definitely do that. Go through the coursework, take some practice exams, take what you failed at and you bombed, take that and put it into a Google quiz. You probably have a hundred some odd things that you didn't know. Everything is important. Everything is important and can't stress that enough. I do want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers, good guy I connected with on LinkedIn. He actually brought me into another group and I was like, man, this is really cool. So I think he's into cybersecurity and networking and really good dude, uh, Raven. He basically told me that he had a, an interview for an apprenticeship. And what was cool is that, I'm not gonna name the company or anything like that, but he had his apprenticeship interview. He's talking to, I believe the hiring manager. And basically what happened was, they were telling him, like, yeah, we, we work in this environment. Are you familiar with ServiceNow? And he was like, yeah, actually, I am. I'm getting ready to take my certified system administrator exam really soon. And the hiring manager lit up was like, man, really? Oh, man, you're going to be a shoe in Get that exam and 
you got a place with us. And I'm like, yo, that is awesome. Raven, he's a good supporter. He's constantly in the comments, bigging me up. And I just want to tell you, man, congratulations, dude. Like, I hope that you kill this exam, you feel confident, and you just take that, put that on your resume and take this apprenticeship and just go where you want to get to. So much respect to him, wishing him the best. And just want to tell you, I'm telling you, this is an industry-wide, industry-leading platform for ticket management. And I feel like I'm a spammer. I'll be hit up all my favorite YouTubers and whatnot and let them know, please tell people about this. And everybody's excited about it. And I think everybody's excited about it. And because of the crunch time, they're just diving in. But I'm just asking you, share this with your coworkers. You know what I mean? No matter what space you work in, ServiceNow is not going anywhere. And as someone who's played around in it, I can tell you, it is dope. You know what I mean? It's better than some of the other systems that I've worked in. Way more intuitive, way more easy. And you'll know how to set all that up. You know how to do what you need to do out the box. You know how to do customizations. You know how to do scripting. You know how to create a really thorough database that's inclusive and that talks to other parts of the application. It's just so cool. That's really my story. I'm glad to be done with it. I was like, when I hit submit, I was like, please, man, I do not want to have to retake this because I this is free. It's free right now. So I don't want to pay for it later and be like, oh, man, I failed. I don't want to be on the guy on YouTube like how I failed the ServiceNow exam and how I'm going to take it again. No. I got stuff to do. I got other search to get. I got other things that are on my map and on the agenda. So I don't want to stop. I want to keep the momentum going and just work to apply this stuff. Yeah. I'm like I said, I hope that this goes well for you. I'm really pulling for you. Yeah. You watching this, I'm pulling for you because you don't get this stuff free very often. Everything costs. I, during the pandemic, CompTIA was offering a lot of good stuff and I just didn't take advantage of it. So I made sure I'm jumping on this thing. And there was somebody that, that I was talking to, they were like, yeah, they come out with new versions all the time. And I'm like, yeah, they do. But at the core, the San Diego version isn't much different from the Rome version. The Rome version isn't much different from the Quebec, Quebec version. You know what I mean? So there are like some fundamental things that you're always going to be able to do. And why not learn it now while people are still using it? And companies are changing. They want to adapt. Whatever sector you're in, private, government, for-profit, non-profit, wherever you're at, people need to manage their IT environment. And ServiceNow is a really strong solution for that. It's not the only one, but man, people that know, people that have worked in it, people that have taken tickets, like I've worked with, I work with coworkers that tell us, man, this stuff would be so much easier in ServiceNow. And I'm just like, man, so everybody likes the ease of which it gives. And if you can create that ease of environment as an architect, as an admin, you're straight hopefully again you're not playing around with this thing please don't play around please as somebody who has lost time like if you're starting or getting started in tech take advantage of every opportunity you have now don't play games don't defer this for something else that you know is not a, a good use of your time you don't have to make this your entire life but seize as many opportunities as you can now while they're available to you otherwise you're going to live with regret and that regret is another monster in of itself that just keeps you stagnant and inactive and just not efficient. I can't speak for, you know, how everybody thinks, but as a man, like stagnation and regret and just a shitty attitude, it does not serve me. So I'm trying to make up for lost times, which you can't really do in the past, but every opportunity I get, I'm taking that. And I just hope that you'll do the same thing. Take this thing seriously. Grow your career. It's yours. You have It's right here in your hands. Like You don't have to play. Just get the work done. Get the momentum going. And you're going to be addicted to learning, growing, and just seizing the opportunity. So that said, thank you for watching this video. It's a lot longer than I try to make these things, but I just had to go on my little rant. Had to like psych you up, like my man Damien says. Psych you up. You know, it's another guy who just, he just kills it, man. He just... This dude is hitting cert after cert, and I'm so proud of like the thing he's doing. That's a guy that you need to follow. So I'm gonna link his stuff down below too. But yo, just go after it. Do what you have to do. And uh, yeah, I hope to see a lot of comments of people that are just killing it. That got their cert, got their exam, got their experience, and have the opportunities to show for it. That's really what we're here for. So thank you as always for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Dear me. Dear me. Three to six months. Watch how I make you proud.